My name's James Morton. I like to bake. I love bread, as you can see. I've got a book coming out soon. It's called Brilliant Bread, and I'm very proud of it, so I hope you enjoy it. It would be wrong to call the book a recipe book, specifically. It has many recipes in it, and all of them are really quite good, must be said. But the book um, is also very process-driven. Um, it shows you how to make bread, rather than what ingredients to use, which I think is always a fall down in many recipes. They just give you the ingredients and they say, Go ahead. But this book breaks it down into simple, simple, simple steps and gradually increases the technical expectation. Most of the recipes were tried and tested recipes actually that I've baked for, for many years. And my gran showed me how to bake um, when I was three, four, five, but then and I've just kept on baking since. And then when I got to university, bread baking really prospered in my mind. It's very cheap <laughs> and uh, very cool, I think. Um, people are very impressed when you make your own bread. And so I just got more and more, and then I just got very used to having my own bread, so I didn't stop. And then I decided that knowing how to make bread wasn't really enough. I had to delve deeper and deeper and deeper. As a medical student, the science of baking bread really appealed to me and drew me in. And I got very, very involved with them, probably quite obsessed. And I suppose I became a bit of a perfectionist. To this day, it, it really, really annoys me when a bread doesn't go quite right. Just imagine eating a whole lump of raw dough, and that's basically what you're putting into yourself every time you have a cheap shop hot bread. But you make your own much cheaper homemade bread, and it will be perfect. I love bread so much, I just want to eat this, all this bread that's here right now. In fact, I might just do that. <laughs>